Abbey Tales, Ruth and the Chalice. Hello, my name is Nicola and this is Ruth, the Abbey Cat, with eyes of yellow and a coat of jet black. She likes to show visitors this and that. An abbey is an old building made of stone where monks lived, worked and called it home. Here is the door. It is big and old and made of wood. Shall we open it? Ruth thinks we should. Do you think it is a creaky door as it is so old? Shall we try making a creaky door noise after three? One, two, three. Ah. What is behind the door? I wonder what we shall see. This is the sacristy. It was a special room where the monks would keep important and precious things that they would use in their special ceremonies, like clothes and objects like this. It looks very different today from when Brother Mungo was a monk. This is what we think it would have looked like. Can you see the stone cupboards? where the monks would have kept their precious objects. Can you count them? One, two, three. There would have been wooden doors on the stone cupboards which would have been locked. This is a special cup called a chalice. It was used for holding holy wine. And when it wasn't in use, the monks would keep it in one of the stone cupboards. It's made of silver, which is a precious metal. This sacristy is special because it makes singing sound special. Would you like to hear? Silver is precious, gold is too. I am precious and so are you. Can you hear the echo? Silver is precious, gold is too. I am precious and so are you. I think it's time for a story. For there are stories everywhere. And this is the story of Ruth and the chalice. Would you like to hear it? I think Ruth and Brother Mungo would. One day, Brother Mungo was in such a hurry to get to prayers that he forgot to lock the sacristy cupboards and he left the door open. Ruth, the Abbey cat, who liked to explore all the different places in the Abbey, sneaked in. She jumped into a stone cupboard that contained the chalice and the abbot's robes. She climbed onto the robes, snuggled up and fell asleep. Later, the abbot, the head of the abbey, walked by and he saw that the door to the sacristy was open. So he locked the door along with all the cupboards, not knowing that Ruth was locked inside. The next morning, Brother Mungo went to the sacristy to collect the chalice and the robes for the abbot. He opened the door and heard a noise. Meow! That sounds like Ruth, thought Brother Mungo. I wonder where she is. He checked all the cupboards one by one. He opened the first cupboard. There was nothing there. He opened the second cupboard. There was the abbot's rosary beads. And as Brother Mungo opened the third cupboard, out jumped Ruth, meowing loudly. Brother Mungo looked at the chalice and the abbot's robes. They were covered in Ruth's fine black hairs. He shook the robes before the abbot arrived. Brother Mungo told Ruth to find somewhere safer to sleep. And from that day forward, he always made sure that the door to the sacristy was locked. I think Ruth and Brother Mungo liked that story. Ruth wants to take us through another door. I wonder what we shall see.
But that, my friends, is another story. So it's goodbye from me, goodbye from Brother Mungo, and goodbye from Ruth, the Abbey Cat. <laughs>